I decided to upgrade the internal memory of ASUS ROG ALI with this uh, M.2 NVMI 1 terabyte. So I have this model, I decided to get uh, this model with one terabyte. It's made by Corsair model MP600 Mini. It's a PCI Express generation four, this uh, NVMI M.2 model 2230 SSD. Basically, this is the model that you need to search if you want to upgrade uh, uh, the SSD for your uh, ROG Ally or Steam Deck. So one terabyte and uh, here we have the speeds, read and write. That's huge, 4.8 gigabytes per second, 4,800 megabytes, basically for read and for write. And here we have more specs. So I believe it's a, it's a good improvement from um, 500 um, uh, gigabytes to one terabyte. Let's see, let's see the, the SSD. So this is it, one terabyte. So now I have to open this. I have this mini tool and we have these six small screws that we have to, to remove. At this point we have to remove uh, the battery here. Just remove this and you will find um, the SSD. So now we have to remove this and to eject basically the SSD. And let's put the new one here. Now let's put this one back. This is how it looks with the SSD here. Let's connect the battery and after that uh, we will close this and start it. So this is it. Let's put this plastic back.
And now let's uh, let's put it to charge and let's start the device. Without the charger, it seems that you cannot start it. So you need basically uh, you, you need the charger at this point. Previously, you have to um, to make that backup for your device in uh, Asus uh, application. My Asus go uh, go over there and. Um, synchronize your uh, Dropbox and make your backup for this device. Uh, in this way you will be able to, to use it here. So at this point we have the SSD here. Corsair MP600 one terabyte. Great. Now, um, now we have to to make uh, uh, to do the restore basically. To make the, uh, this go to advanced mode, go here to advanced. And press um, Asus Cloud Recovery. Once you enter uh, your Wi-Fi um, uh, password, you will receive this message, Cloud recov Recovery file is ready for download, press next to continue. And if everything is uh, it's okay, you will see this Cloud Recovery system is downloading. If you receive an error or nothing happens, repeat the press process. This is my uh, second try here. Uh, with the first one, uh, nothing happened and I was uh, redirected to, um, uh, to, uh, to BIOS, uh, to BIOS uh, screen. So when I tried again, I received um, the correct um, uh, setup and basically everything, uh, it's fine. Sorry for the sound and um, for... Um, the tools here or, or uh, I don't know uh, what other problem is. I'm not on my um, office and uh, now uh, probably you will hear a huge echo. Uh, it's a huge space here and that's why it's happening. So um, I just got this uh, SSD and I'm, uh, I, I'm very curious how is uh, uh, this one, if it's really that fast, if it's, if, if uh, this one it's good or not uh, that's why i decided to try it here <laughs> as quickly as possible so um, again this is the box for um, for this one terabyte uh, nvmi um, ssd as you see the setup it's it's really fast we are already at 18 percent and uh, everything works uh, great so basically this is it so here it is uh, almost ready so the entire process uh, will take you around two hours or maybe more two hours and a half anyway uh, after that the device will restart and it will install um, the required drivers and um, at this moment i'm waiting to um, to boot the device and to, um, to use it.